First of all, uh, some off top. Uh, in 1961, April 12th, the Russian astronaut, uh, Yuri Gagarin, uh, was the first person who went into space and did the circle around the Earth. So it was the first person in the open space. So I think it's just a good day today, and I hope you all know in the future for April 12th, it's really significant. Uh, they for humanity because space is beautiful. Однажды в студенную зимнюю пору я из лесу вышел, был сильный мороз. Лежу, поднимается медленно в гору лошадка, везущая хорост у вас. И шествуя важно, в спокойствии чином, лошадку ведет под усы мужичок. В больших сапогах, в полушубке овчину, в больших рукавицах, а сам с ноготок. This was a fragment uh, from the poem from Russian, from famous Russian writer Nikolai Nikrasov. Russian is a very uh, strong and structurally complicated language. At first, it might seem too hard and like not understandable at all, but as soon as you start getting into this language, uh, you will be surprised with all the diversity and beauty of this language. For example, uh, here you can see the word lishish, that means to pride in English, and this is just a cursive on the top. And for you, it probably looks like some random stuff, but I can kind of distinguish it. I mean, it's kind of tricky for me, but I can distinguish this word. So, if you think what is too hard for you, don't be too scared, because that's exactly how I felt when I just started studying English. Everything was new for me, I, I couldn't understand anything, but now I can speak. Um, so, learning a foreign language is not just a boost for your status or it will be helpful for traveling. It makes you smarter, more decisive, and makes you even better in your native language. In today's speech, I'm going to tell you about benefits of learning any foreign language. First, I'm going to tell you about benefits of this process more specifically. Then, I'm going to uh, tell you why people should teach their kids any foreign language they like. And third, I'm gonna prove you what it is never late to start learning foreign language. So let me tell you about all the benefits. You become smarter. According to the Merit 2013, um, speaking a foreign language improves the functionality of your brain by challenging you to recognize, negotiate meaning when you use uh, when you receive the information. This skill transferred to your uh, problem solving aspects in everyday life. Um, <coughs> the process of studying any foreign language requires memorization, a lot of new words, vocabulary, and etc. And this is a great exercise for the brain. Um, when you study any foreign language, your native language improves itself just because you're studying new uh, structure of new language, so you're always comparing structure of new language to the old language. So even if you never was like interested in English, during studying you're paying more attention to the English itself. You become multitasker. Uh, <coughs> constant switching between your native language and foreign language. Um, <coughs> constant switching between foreign language and your native language uh, develop your multitask skills and makes you a good multitasker as well. According to the Merit 2013, any language has its own unique vocabulary and it can be subconsciously influence your judgment. When you think differently, it makes you a better decision maker. Also according to the Marvelous 2013, <coughs> because your brain works differently, you develop a variety of cognitive skills. Some studies shown that um, students who speak in two languages had the average uh, score for like basic test more the higher, like for SAT or ACT. Sorry. Um, it opens up new opportunities for you. Um, and 
for that as a potential. We are living in a relatively free world, so you can go to any country, find a job, and stuff like that. And when you go to the other country, and you speak English, for example, in there, it's made you superior uh, among other people. Um, then you study language, you study the culture of this language. So that make you more like think differently. You always compare the culture of your country to the culture of the country you study in. And it makes you just feel uh, think differently. You look at the things from a different perspective. After you and after you realize all the benefits of learning the language, learning any foreign language, your self confidence goes up. Self confidence goes up. Um, so, if you eventually will decide to learn any foreign language, um, I guarantee you, during the process, you're gonna think that something like, uh, I, "Like, I wish my mom would make me study Spanish when I was in high school, or something like that," or "I wish my mom would uh, make me study in English or do some homework," because the earlier <coughs> It's going to be hard, it's going to be good for you to study language at any age, but when you're young, you obviously have just bigger potential for that. If you can practice more language, you're going to be more fluent in that. Um, Ford, according to the article 4014, he recommends that uh, you already can start teaching kids at the age of three. Because, why, so why is it better for kids? Because their brain is not stored with information yet. So it's like a sponge ready to absorb any kind of information. Uh, the mission of the parent make this information um, as fun as possible. Try to, try to put the process of the study in everyday life. For example, count, like if you're walking with your kid on the streets, count the jumps with him uh, on Spanish or Russian. Uh, sing or buy a doll with him and explain what this doll speaks only Spanish. Uh, according to Lewis, 2017 means your native and foreign language is one of the best things to start studying language. When you put it in a daily routine, you yeah, the first couple of weeks is gonna be weird, but after the third, fourth week is just gonna be habit, and you don't even need to study that because it's just in your everyday life. But what if you don't speak any foreign language, but want your kids speak foreign language? Well, be an example for the kid. Start studying language. Or along with your kid, show them what you're interested, what um, you're studying to, and the kid will be looking at you and do the same thing. Also, um, if you can speak any foreign language, but want your kid to speak, uh, try to, from very young age, turn on some cartoon movies on this language. Kids, it's not gonna even understand it because they're just watching the picture, but it will train their ear receptors because uh, the main problem in studying uh, foreign language is to uh, adapt your ears to understand the sounds of the different languages because your ears just not used to get this kind of vibrations and you just need to actually hear, listen to this language for like three or four months to just start distinguish the uh, sounds. Um, while there are some advantages for the kids, Adults have some advantages as well, which kids cannot apply. Um, it's not harder for adults, it's just different. Yes, it's obvious that kids have some kind of advantage because they bring the trash, but adults have access to the variety of techniques, courses, and stuff like that. Adults, uh, the most important thing is uh, vocabulary and to start speaking more or less okay on any language, you need to memorize at least 1,000, maybe 1,500 words. And adults, for adults it's actually easier than the kids because the main thing during memorization is association. So you, if you memorize, if you're struggling with memorization, you just associate these words with something and it's easier to memorize. So adults can apply their life experience to associate new words. Um,
also it's important to choose the right program for the uh, global studying language. Make sure you choose the, what's good for you. Make some investigation, talk to somebody maybe, go to the location of the country you want to study or take the course in this country as yeah. such an opportunity. And the most important is be patient during the process. I remember when I was studying, uh, like after two months, I, I was studying daily for like four hours. And after two months, I, I would like turn on the movie and was trying to understand what they're saying, but I couldn't understand it all. And I was like, okay, like I was studying for two months, but where is the progress? Well, as I said, you just need to more practice. So never give up, keep going, and everything will be fine. So now you know about benefits uh, of learning second language, you know why you should teach your kid, and now you know why it's never a place to start.